Well, it's a potentially interesting game this evening with uh, Maidstone playing the bottom of the table side, having Waterlooville. But I think we've both been looking at the team sheet, Joe, and uh, looking at the players that haven't and Waterlooville have got. There's no way they should be bottom of this league, is there? No, you wouldn't think so. Obviously, you know, it does take more than just individuals to create a successful team in, in any division. But even, you know, even saying that, with the individuals they have got, you would assume they'd be able to produce some some form of results to at least not be bottom of, of the league table. They've definitely got a few players in there which, you know, have played very well against Maystone in the past. You know, Jack Jeb, Ryan Seeger, just to name a couple. Um, but, of course, Eck Stone's in there as well who have had good performances at this level in the past. So, yeah, certainly a strange one. Yeah, I, also a number of players who've played very well for us in the past as well. Uh, there are four uh, players in the Haven't and Waterloo lineup who have uh, played for Maidstones. Had it Haven't and Waterloo. It was two seasons ago, the season we won national. Not a South. thriller then. Uh, it wasn't a thriller, but he, <laughs> the, I think the best thing that came out of it was Bivesh's performance. To be honest, it's uh, in the middle of a bit of a, wait, a bit of an injury crisis, and I believe we signed him from Margate, although he'd been here as an academy player, and he actually did very well. To, it just snapped a bit of a losing streak that Maidstone had at the time at that point. Yeah, I think I commentated that game. Yeah. As, uh, Sam Korn plays it out wide to Kipriano. Kipriano is going to put a cross in. It might have been deflected that one, and the keeper comes and loses it. Warner has spilled that. Wanjao Smith will pick it up. Kipriano has a chance to shoot here, and he does shoot, and uh, he's probably regretting the fact that he had a dig there. Yeah, maybe the wrong choice there from Harry Kipriano. I think just... Don Hutchinson was... Don Hutchinson was co-commentating, and he was saying that Quadrado will absolutely love the fact that he was getting yeah. booed. And I think yeah, the deacon is probably the same. That. Here comes uh, Amanci to cross it into the area. Could be a chance for Kipriano, headed down into the oh. box. Just about cleared by McCarthy, but Rush is going to head that into the oh. box. And it's a goal! Sublime! <laughs> Terrific header from Matt Rush for his second goal for Maidstone, his first at this stadium. It's after he scored at St Albans on Saturday. Uh, a bizarre sort of goal. He's, <laughs> he's got to be the shortest attacker Maidstone have got on the field. And then McCarthy right-footed towards the far post. It's headed clear, but there's a chance here for an equaliser, oh. and it's bouncing up in the air. It's very awkward. It could be a goal oh, for Aaron, and it's just a foul save. <laughs> Lucas Cobbland eventually does. comes away with it, but Maidstone have got away with one there. It was almost identical, if you like, to, to what happened for the Maidstone goal. No, he didn't have the greatest of starts. I still think that, that the own goal that he scored on his debut, Oof. I still would maintain that was the keeper's fault up at York. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so too, to be honest. I think, especially on your debut, you know, you want to have that confidence in your team. But it didn't quite happen for, for Zuma, unfortunately, for him. Is there half a chance for, for Mason us. here? It might open up for Kipriano. He's into the area. He's going to go around the keeper. He's been brought down, has he? No. Still alive, the attack. It's being cleared, though. One Jasmith Smith couldn't get it into a Manchi. And uh, I think... Warner must have made a very good save there because yeah, the referee... Must have got a palm on that one. Looking at his record and his, you know, his experience with previous teams, he has got experience playing in a more forward position, you know, right wing, left wing uh, from time to time. So he's certainly someone who does have that ability going forward. As Manchi over there. the top and Rush is onside here and Rush has a chance to make it two, but he's just knocked it wide. It was uh, a far easier chance than the one that he put away, to be honest. It bounced up. He was onside. And it would have counted, there was no flag. And uh, it's a throw to the stones, level with the six-yard box. It's uh, into the area, it'll be cleared by Zuma. Not cleared that well, though. It's going to bounce once. Zuma will hack it clear again. Bone will play it down for Gurung. Gurung under a bit of pressure from Deacon. Manages to get the ball forward to Amanchi. Amanchi's at the edge of the area. Defender around him. Plays it back to Kipriano. Kipriano will play it Ooh. back nicely to Amanchi. Nice Amanchi was... Uh, well, he's got to the byline. He's got into the area. He's in, still in the area. I'm actually he's going to shoot. Is he surely? Oh, fantastic! Absolutely sensational from what Levi Amanchi. What a goal Amanchi. by Levi Amanchi. Probably should have been tackled about half a dozen times Swinkle there. Twinkle toes. But uh, somehow, <laughs> somehow Dearie Levi me. Amanchi has scored an amazing goal there for Maidstone. <laughs> there was about six separate occasions when I thought he was either going to be tackled or the ball was going to go out of play. How the hell has he done that, Joe? Well, I mean... Kovalan comes a long way forward, whacks that one downfield. There's an awkward bounce, but it's going to fall for uh, Arendt Sebia. Good 
fortunate bounce that for Maidstone. I think you could say. Nice ball inside to Wanjiao Smith. Edge of the area laid off for Rush. Rush will shoot and Rush oh. shoots just wide. Very good opportunity there for Maystone. A really nice strike from Matt Rush from about 20 yards out. But obviously with the way they're dealing with things at the moment, you never know. And sometimes it's worth running that risk rather than retaining that possession. I think that's maybe why a few of the fans are getting a little bit restless. But He's good opportunity to come forward. Could be a chance here. Appier is absolutely surging forward. He's got some pace on him. He's towards oh, the shot. edge of the area. He's going to shoot surely. Oh. And he shoots into the roof of the town end there. Uh, do you think his eyes lit up when he yeah. saw the whites <laughs> of the uh, goalposts there? Yeah, he certainly saw his name in the uh, in the lights there. I mean, it was a great, great run. But, uh, Amanchi has rather sold himself short there. He's fallen over the ball almost and now haven't got a chance to attack through midfield. Good challenge by Gurum to uh, allow players time to get back. But, uh, haven't have got the ball again. What to the uh, right-hand side, crossed into the area. Could be a chance there for the number 11. It could be a goal, it is oh. a goal. It's 2-1. Maidstone paying the price there for giving the ball away in midfield. Very well taken goal that by Haven't and Waterlooville. I think it was Seeger that got the final touch. And it does look like, as you say, Amanchi is gonna go off. Not gonna make the change quite yet. Still grimacing out there, Levi, really not moving too well. Yeah, it's uh, not the greatest of signs ahead of a big weekend for Mason. He's that. chasing after this one, though. Anything and the for flag a goal, goes Levi. up offside, unfortunately. Oh. He put it in the net, but the flag was up. And, it was a uh, lovely finish as well. I think that might be his last act in this game, actually, yeah. Amanchi. Oh, yeah. I don't know how close that was to offside, but... Well, there's uh, a corner kick which is going to be taken by Sam Corn for Maidstone. 66 minutes gone, Maidstone lead 2-1 here. Ball goes towards the near post, it's headed down, it's a goal! And I believe it was Levi Amanchi. Levi uh, celebrating it. Sam yep. Corn is rushing over to uh, salute the cross. Yes, Levi's goal. But uh, yeah, Levi Amanchi thought it was him, so 3-1 to Maidstone and uh, but when you're talking about National South players, they're inevitably going to make more mistakes of course. than top flight players. And um, I think we were travelling back from St Albans and we uh, at Ramsdale nearly conceded. There could be a chance here for uh, Mason. Oh, he's not goal made the there. It's ridiculous <laughs> defending. Um, wow. I really don't know quite what happened there. It looked like it was almost an own goal. It was like Stedman comes inside. Lays it off, well intercepted by Appier again. And the uh, flag has gone up for something. I don't know what's happened here. Um, oh, Zuma and Amanchi may be having a little bit of a... Yeah. There's Tiff. Oh, well, oh Zuma's, Zuma's got his hand around Amanchi. Levi's He's, throat. Uh, put his hand around his throat. What's this all about? Now, Zuma is being Deary ushered He's pushing away. The referee Zuma has out lost the it with somebody and Zuma... By the letter of the law, it should be sent off for that. I have to say, we don't know why play was called back there. Um, it's unusual to say play interrupted like that. Something has happened. Something has been said. What we have seen is that Zuma has put his hand up. And Zuma is being they restrained still pull him away. by about four of his teammates here. I know. They were approaching the edge of the Maston area. And all of a sudden, the referee has called play back. Amanchi and Zuma were basically squaring up at each other. It's a yellow card for Zuma. I think Amanchi might get a yellow card as well. He's taken himself out of the theatre of uh, combat, as it were. Well, I mean, I, I, I personally didn't see what happens, so we'll have to wait for the highlights on yeah. that one. I mean, to me, it looked like a, a certain hand in the face, if not round the throat of Levi Amanchi from Jan Zuma, but... The end zone it had a lot of height on it. It was designed to allow Rush to chase after it. He didn't quite get there. And now Haven't will try and attack. Oh, good run there. And it could be a chance for Phillips. He's got a chance here. Oh, great it's a great save, save by Kovalan. That is a superb save by Lucas Kovalan because that was on target from Phillips. It's good to see him back, actually. Saw him go off injured a couple of weeks ago. I did wonder how long he'd be out for. Haven't now trying to break down the left-hand side with Innocent. Innocent will knock that into the channel for Bissari to chase. 
and it's put out of play by Appiah for a haven't throw in roughly level with the Maidstone penalty spot. Innocent tries to take it quickly and uh, puts it forward to Coleman de Graff, who lays it off for well, he tries really. to lay it off for Gurung, and Gurung has got uh, de Graff out of jail there, really. He's put yeah, in he's a decent well. challenge because that pass really sold him short and he's recovered that well. Haven't have got the ball back. So trying to build something on the edge of the area with Seeger, but uh, Gurung again comes away with it. Been impressed with Bivesh Gurung this evening. Great ball. And that could be Rush into the clear on the left hand side from Mason. He's got two in the area if he can find them. He's gone for Sol. Sol thinks oh. about shooting, goes oh. past one challenge. Goals past another, oh. and he shoots over the bar. <laughs> And there are going to be seven minutes of added time. That would have made them just that little bit easier to deal with. So uh, Billy Stedman, I believe, it is going to be Jeb. Jeb will knock that one over the wall and it Ooh. hits the post. <laughs> oh, that was Don't close know call. whether Kovalan had that covered or not. Um, it was tight. Back into the area and this hey. time it's uh, chipped over the bar or rather as a sort of improvised attempt at a shot from Kieran Phillips. 97 and a half minutes gone here. Maidstone three, haven't in Waterlooville one. Maidstone are going to win it now. Haven't are not going to have the time to uh, score two goals. I would think the referee is going to blow the whistle any second. Maidstone throw that one forward for Rush. But we play on. McCarthy to Innocent. Innocent to Bissari. Bissari comes inside. Is it out wide? The target was uh, Stedman, I think, but the header has been won by Kipriano. It'll go back to Jeb. And that is the final whistle. So, final score here at Watman Way is Maidstone United 3, Haven't and Waterlooville 1. Two goals for Levi Amanchi, one for Matt Rush.